All right, we're looking at the Intel Modular Server Chassis, MFSYS25. This is a new product from Intel targeted to the small, medium-sized business market. It's capable of supporting six physical servers, has blades, with an integrated SAN that supports 14 two and a half inch SAS hard drives that are high swappable. The unit also has an integrated storage controller, an integrated 10 port gigabit ethernet switch, and a web-based storage or a web-based system management interface. And now we're looking at the back of the MFSYS25 where we have our fan bays, we have our integrated uh, modular storage controller, our modular gigabit ethernet switch, the modular management controller, and then spare ports for an additional gigabit switch and an additional redundant storage controller. We also have space for four 1000 watt power supplies. Right now, there's only two power supplies in this unit and then two fan banks that uh, fill the space for the other two power supplies. When you get your new chassis, the first step is to actually install a server. When you get your servers, which are called compute modules by Intel, they come with the motherboard installed that has two gigabit ethernet ports integrated into the board. The only thing that you need to install are your processors and your memory. This particular unit, we've already installed four gigabytes of DDR2 RAM. We've also put in two quad-core E5410 Xeon processors along with their heat sinks. When you order the processors, you need to make sure to order processors with an active fan and heat sink. But you're going to remove that fan. But those heat sinks with the active fans are actually smaller that allow them to fit in this 1U chassis. So when you put in your memory and your processor, the next step is to remove your server blank from your chassis. Insert your compute module. And now your new server is ready to go. The Intel modular server chassis supports 14 two and a half inch SAS hard drives. These drives are hot swappable. Once in the unit, the integrated storage management controller allows you to configure any of the drives in any combination into storage pools. From those storage pools, virtual drives can be created that are then assigned to physical servers. A virtual drive can be moved between servers, but it can't be shared among servers. That allows you, in the case of a server failure, to actually move a virtual drive from one server to another to minimize downtime. The RAID levels supported are RAID 0, 1, 5, 10, 50, 60, and RAID 1E. Now we're looking at the back of the unit again to actually see the storage management controller. We know that there are 14 drives supported in the chassis, but the storage management controller also has a 4X SAS controller on the back that allows the unit to connect to any external SAN device. So your storage options are virtually limitless. The base MFSYS25 comes with two 1000 watt hot swappable power supplies. These two power supplies will provide redundancy and power for one server. If you need to provide redundancy for two to three servers, you need three power supplies for four to six servers, four power supplies. The blanks actually contain fans. So if you don't have three power supplies, the unit provides extra cooling. When you add your third server or your second server and you need additional power or redundancy, simply order a new power supply, stick it in, and you're done. The unit also comes with two main cooling fans. Each of these fans are hot swappable. And they provide main cooling for the entire system. 
In addition, the power supplies also have their own cooling fans. The base Intel modular server chassis comes with one integrated gigabit Ethernet switch with 12 internal ports to support the six integrated servers and 10 external ports to connect other devices to your network. The switch is capable of layer two switching technology. It supports fault tolerance and load balancing with a single switch. It has robust VLAN support and also quality of service configurations are supported. You can also add a second switch for redundancy. With a second switch, you're able to set up link aggregation across the switches so that should you experience a failure of one switch, your servers won't lose connectivity. When you get your new Intel modular server chassis, there are a couple of accessories that you're going to need to purchase before you can use it. First and most importantly is a power cord. Intel does have recommendations on specific power cord requirements, so we recommend that you check our website or Intel's server compatibility hardware list to find the proper power cord. You'll also need two and a half inch SAS hard drives. We do recommend that you purchase hard drives off of Intel's server hardware compatibility list. Finally, you'll also need to buy at least one server compute module along with the processor and the memory for that particular compute module. One thing you may have noticed when watching this video is that there are some large obtrusive handles on this unit. These are actually just for moving the unit around. When it arrives, it's shipped on a pallet and it's quite heavy. It's about 135 pounds. So Intel provides handles that can easily be screwed down and removed. Removing the handles allows the unit to be mounted into a standard 19 inch rack. Obviously due to its weight, we recommend a four post rack. Intel also provides a toolless rail kit for mounting into racks. No tools are required and the unit supports both round and square hole mounting.